From Thursday, July 30th through Saturday, August 1st, many locals enjoyed a night at the town common for a free viewing of Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. From the Hopkinton Center for the Arts Enter Stage Left Theater program, under the direction of Thomas Key, the play was a success and the performers enjoyed taking part in the outdoor production. Thou lovest it not, and all my pains is sorted to no proof. Here, take away this dish. I pray you let it stay. This whole while, I prithee, Brother Kent, untie my hands. Now if that be just and all the no! rest be so. How now, <laughs> sir? Whence grows this insolence? Um, so I'm playing Kenneth or Kent uh, in their version of Taming of the Shrew. Uh, the roles are kind of switched, so instead of Kate being tamed, Kent, uh, a male figure is being tamed uh, in this show. Is to pluck it out. Aye, if the fool could find it where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail. Ah! Um, I've been acting for a really long time. I went to school for acting in Pennsylvania. Um, this is my fourth Shakespeare Under the Stars performance with uh, Enter Stage Left in Hopkinton Center for the Arts. Um, most recently, I played uh, McMurphy in One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest at Central Square Theater in Cambridge. Um, I really like performing outdoors in a community theater type setting uh, with the community and everything around here. So. Now I promise you have shown a tender motherly regard to wish me went to half a lunatic. <laughs> uh, they can expect to laugh a whole bunch. Uh, there's a lot of physical comedy, a lot of humiliation towards me. Um, so if you are a friend or an enemy of myself, then you'll definitely get a kick out of it. Um, and you also, if Shakespeare's kind of intimidated you in the past, this is one of the performances that I've done that it's really stripped down for you. It's very simple, it's very easy to understand, and they've done that through the physical actions and the physical comedy and made it really easy to understand for all ages. All right, and um, can you talk about uh, some of the work that you had to do to uh, get ready for this performance? I'd imagine it was pretty extensive. Um, I mean, most of it was just learning lines, which in Shakespeare is kind of difficult, because um, you can't really mess up because it's in, you know, a type of talking that we don't really do anymore. Uh, so it's really extensive time on lines. And then just in the rehearsal process, it's getting comfortable with each other to explore those physical comedy bits and really just working those over and over and over again because if someone's off by a centimeter, things aren't as funny as they could possibly be. They, sh <laughs> they shall go forward, Kent, at thy command. Obey the bridegroom, you that tend on him. Go to the feast, revel and domineer, be mad and merry, or go hang yourselves. But for my charming Kent, he must with me. I'm playing Petruchia, um, who in this gender-swapped version tames the shrewish Kent. I am no child, no babe. Your betters have endured me, say my mind, and if you cannot, best you stop your ears. Way back in school, I did some acting that I didn't do any for a very long time, and back in 2012, a friend of mine dragged me into a community theater show, and I haven't stopped since. He will not come? Oh, vile, intolerable, not to be endured. Sir Agrumio, go to thy master, tell him I command him come to me. Uh, there was a lot of lines to learn, and you know, a lot of, a lot of things that you have to know and then you do them over and over again and then it just becomes natural so by the time the show goes on I don't think about it anymore. I did proceed in practice with my younger son. <gasps> Petruchio will you go with us or shall I send my son Kenneth to you? I pray you do I'll attend him here. So I play Baptista the um, gentlewoman who's the um, mother of the two sons so one of the sons is the sort of uh, we're referring to him as the dude kind of the guy who never grows up and leaves the parents' basement. And the other son is sort of my do-good, very innocent, naive son. So a little bit my favorite. Um, the other one exasperates me all the time. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> Fox, meddle not with him. <laughs> For shame thou, holding of a devilish spirit, why dost thou wrong him that ne'er did wrong thee? When did he cross thee with a bitter word? His silence flouts me, and I'll be revenged. Oh, what? In my sight? Bianco, get thee in. Now, could you talk about some of your uh, acting experience in the past? Well, um, as you know, I'm actually a singer and a songwriter. That's what I did for years. I toured around the country and I used to perform a lot. And so after my second was born and I was living in Hopkinton, I, did, I didn't have the outlet to perform anymore. So I hooked up with this local theater group here in town, um, Enter Stage Left Theater. And I've done tragedies. Uh, I, was, I was in Anne Frank, Diary of Anne Frank. Um, I was in their production of Twelfth Night. I played Festy the Clown and I played my ukulele. 
and I've been in their musicals. I did uh, tribute to the USO and, and lots of different stuff. So for me, it's been a great transition from being on the road, performing as a solo performing, performer and singer to being in a troupe with such great, funny, fun people to be around. And a great director, great assistant director. The whole crew is, uh, is top notch. So it's, it's fun, you guys gotta come. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll be surprised, you know, because um, I think the kids, even the kids will get it. As I put on my Facebook post, uh, bring your kids and your uh, maybe not so uh, theater fanatic husbands, <laughs> speaking from experience. Um, you know, they don't think they're going to get a Shakespeare show, but as uh, you may have heard, this one's really sort of geared towards a basic understanding of Battle of the Sexes, and it's just a romp, and it's... It's, I think they can expect just a lot of uh, fast-paced action and, and verbiage, <laughs> a la Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> can you talk about uh, some of the work you had to do uh, preparing for the play? Um, yeah, I, I don't have a, um, a very dialogue or monologue heavy role. I have, um, I'm sort of the flustered mom. I kind of come in and I come out and I run here and I run there. So for me, it was a matter of just really learning to listen to the pulse of the show and what, what's everybody else got going on here and how can I insert my my perspective in those parts um, so for me I just had to just listen a lot I come to rehearsal prepared with my own lines and then listen to what everybody else was doing so it was a lot of fun